What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Medieval Engineers. Uh, working once again on the underground castle build. Uh, when we left off, we had kind of set up this kind of odd, but kind of, kind of works, structure of, um, we have our, what's soon to be the, um, what was this going to be? Armory. Armory. Um, storage room for supplies. This is going to be a, well, wall. Um, this is going to be the bed or bunk, barracks, whatever. The dining room and the kitchen. So the last part, well, I shouldn't say last because who knows with me. I always come up with new reasons to keep going. Next part, I should say is the, what are we going to call this? Probably the smith, like the blacksmith area. And I had an interesting idea in the, the last episode for the smith in, in that we were going to do, um, why is this? Oh, that's why. It's like, this looks smaller than the last time we had our cube. Okay. There we go, that's better. Um, so, one of the things I had an idea for with a smithing area was to do um, a like chimney type thing to allow it to vent, because it's going to be underground. So we're going to have a chimney sticking up under the, under the hill, if you will, which I thought would be kind of neat. Um, we didn't put the ceiling parts on here yet because I wanted to decorate them with the natural lighting instead of having to do, um, the interior lighting. Because the interior lighting is fairly frame intensive, for me anyway. Um, so I kind of want to leave that till last. I don't really want to do that until I have to. Uh, and I'm not really sure how much of this I'm going to need. I just wanted to make some space. Okay. So let's, let's say the room starts, well, we could actually say the room starts here, just as soon as you walk through the door. Um, yeah, we could do that. That could work. Because it doesn't have to be ginormous or anything, I mean, it's just for this little underground castle thing. This is more of a this is more of a house really. I'm not really doing well at making it an actual like castle per se. Um unless we just wanted to keep going with stuff. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just see how massive of an area we can do and then cover it up. What do you guys think about that? That would probably make for an I think that would make for a more intriguing build is like we still have room. What else could we do? <laughs> Kind of thing. Um, if that's the case, though, then I don't really want to make this the blacksmith area. Um, because that would kind of be odd to walk through the blacksmith area to get anywhere. Um, so tell you what, let's... Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if we made this? And I, now bear with me. I've kind of just completely overhauled uh, my build, essentially. Um, because what I basically just did was went from a small hobbit hole size with a castle design to it type of build to a let's see if we can fill up this whole area back of the hill thing with stuff. Um, so... This could still be a small dining area, and this could still be a small kitchen. But what if we made this a pathway that leads back up into here, and then this is the storeroom off the back. Then we could turn this into actually just a small seating area type of thing where, you know, uh, when people walk in and go, what is this hobbit hole in the middle of the ground? You go, come in, sit down for a minute. Who are you again? Nope, you don't belong here. Get out. 
kind of thing. <laughs> like, uh, so, that's actually an interesting idea. I kind of like that. So let's make this the storeroom area. And one other thing we could do with this then is we could knock out one of these walls. Like so. Um, oh, hi. And... That would allow us to basically connect the um, kitchen with the storage room would be kind of cool. Um, and then we could wall this area off, actually, or have just another doorway. That might be better. Let's just do another doorway. Um, and let it be a, like a, I don't know, shipping access or something when you bring stuff in. Um, and then this is the kitchen access, so while you're cooking, you can just run in here. That would be kind of cool. I like that. We'll go with it. Okay, um, stairs. Do we want stairs? Those are really high. I was kind of trying to keep things more underground, like, level. So, let's... Let's just clear. And I'm not really worried about some of this space clearing, because... Basically, whatever stays open, you're probably not going to see because there will be walls in these in these hallways, and then there should be, you know, like this, um, a hill over top of it. So you really shouldn't see any of these vacant holes. We're still green on all our structural stuff, which is good. I'm pretty sure once we connect... Um, I'm pretty sure that once we connect the, um... Yeah. The ground is what I was going for. Um... Let's do... Let's do a simple ramp. Now, I wonder... Okay, they don't have the control clicking implemented yet. So if I were to do like that... How about that? No. Okay, so maybe it doesn't. I was thinking that it was going to eliminate the um, structural integrity if if you placed ground over top of something that was already like in the ground. But I might be wrong. I probably am. So, um, what is this? Oh, the hand torch. I thought it was a spear or something for a second. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Um, like I said, though, I don't really want to do a lot of staring. I don't want to stare at things. But if we made like a... You know what? This is a castle. So this would mean that this is like the barracks for your small garrison of people. So we need a actual throne room type thing for a... Or small one, at least. Maybe small one. For, um... You know, the big cheese of the castle. And then we would also need a royal suite for them as well. And royalty usually goes up higher in castle structures. So we could put one stair like this, and then that'll raise the rest of this up. I think that could work. And I'm kind of trying to do like a castle, but make it somewhat smaller, I guess. Like, have all the same kind of implements of a castle, but make it in a compact space. Kind of thing. So let's have this direction go off to the royal bedchamber over here, and we'll have, like, the 
throne slash um, the king will see you now room over in this way and see how this ends up playing out. I don't know how this will work because I'm I am getting a little close to this mountain over here. We're running a little bit low on space. Just a smidge. But like I said, I'm not planning on this to be some ginormous castle or something, but I kind of wanted it to feel like more of a castle. Lately, it's been kind of feeling like a hobbit hole, which was kind of the inspiration to begin with, but, you know, it just was lacking a little oomph. Um, this also gives us the opportunity... to work with some of these. Because I think it would be cool to have a... L I might have to expand this out a little bit. Because I want to have like a throne type of thing. I've wanted to play around with these steps since they implemented them, so I kind of wanted... it kind of gave me an excuse to try them here. Because I think that is kind of neat. It's kind of a neat idea. Um, so we'll need to clear out some more ground here. Like in that. Um, and I suppose we could just do like the wall type thing. Okay, that is in the ground. There we go. Um, we could just make this like the wall kind of area. That is pretty close, but we'll just have to fill it in and make it work, I guess. Uh, let's do... Some walls. It's, it's, yeah, I know. It's kind of close quarters, but we are talking about a, a small underground castle, so it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a little snug. Um, the rest of this, whoops, the rest of this we can probably just work with a little bit later. Dang it, why does it keep wanting to put it on the side of the wall. There we go. Um, and we'll do the ceiling part for that in a bit. Now, the question I have is, should I do like this? No, because we're going to do a doorway here, which is going to fill in the, um, the width difference. There we go. Yeah, that's 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 better. That works. Okay. Oh, and we never finished the um, setup for the royal suite, did we? Okay, let's just clear out some of this. Start it maybe like over there. Whoops. Don't know how that happened. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a little snug for a royal bedroom. Eh, I suppose you can do like a double bed and some stuff and think, yeah. That'll work. It is, again, it is small. Um, it's not exactly designed to be the Taj Mahal or anything. Um, doorway. Should we do one of these or one of these? Let's go with that. Since we did the other one over at the entrance or whatever of the throne room. And I do think we're going to give the king of this of said castle a view. 
mayhaps. Okay, how's our integrity look? Good! All green. That's how I like it, so hopefully nothing will come crashing down terribly. Alright, so let's work on bringing these walls back this way. Um, we might have an issue with the stair. I don't really... Oh, wait, yeah, I did have a plan for this, didn't I? I was gonna leave the dirt showing there. Um... I just kinda realized this is gonna be not good. Can you put that there? Okay. And then put that there, and then we can just put a wooden slab there. Maybe. Looks like all the integrities are still holding there, that's good. Um, reason I did that is more for consistency's sake, that it's kind of odd that when you come through here you see dirt like a dirt wall, and then you would go up, oh, I can't actually put that there. Well, that's not good. Okay. Ooh! Ooh, I got a fix. I have a fix for this. Um, we'll get rid of that, and we'll put... A that would probably have the same effect, wouldn't it? Let's find out. Let's find out if this... I probably will have the same... No, it doesn't. Okay, how... Ew. Wasn't quite what I was hoping for. How about this, actually? I have a better idea. A better one. Um, is, can we use the bigger timber blocks and kind of a do-it-yourself archway here. I don't know if this will work or not. It's it's a it's a theory that I'm curious about testing. Oops. Why you no work? Why can't I put you there? I mean, I understand there's technically nothing supporting it. Oh, wait, maybe there is... maybe that's it. Maybe it's because there's nothing supporting it. So if we did a beam like that... Can I attach it to you now? Come on. No, not there. Oi. There. Why can't you place that? I don't understand that. This makes no sense. Oh, is it because technically it's not in the same block as this square one? Or the stone one, I mean? Dang. Well, then I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Uh, but anyways... What we could do here I mean we could just simply put like two walls and we might have to for now um, and then just bring this wall lower I'm not a big fan of that setup though but for now I'm gonna leave it just so that we have a hallway design that we can work with and stuff, but I'm not really a big fan of that. Um, and let's make this wider, and we're going to make the doorway here. 
I think. Yeah, that'll work. Um, and then we'll go ahead and fill this in. Voila. Okay, so we have the the kitchen connecting the storage room. A uh, little. Oh, I missed a wall. Um, just a little through path type of thing. And I've learned we can kind of fix these little corner gaps with doors. If you actually put like a doorway there, um, it kind of fixes some of those little corner issues. I mean, granted, in something like this where it's a really tight space here, I think it's best just to s throw another corner on there. Um, and I might even do that here, because this is a little snug. Now that I'm looking at it. Uh, but like this, where you've got two, just throw a doorway or an archway there. Fixes it. Um, but see all these hallways is kind of what I wanted. I wanted it to have that um, enclosed tunnel kind of feel to it. And how's that look? Everything's still green. So really, our only structural issue that I've got so far is these stairs. These stairs are causing somewhat problems as far as I'm having issues making um, the doorways and stuff. Or not doorways, the, the walls and the cap parts, like the ceiling cover is becoming an issue. Now, I could just take timber blocks and just line this and kind of make our own manual wall, but I'd like to explore and see if there's some other options for that. But I think that'll about wrap things up for this episode, and I do think floor plan wise that we're about at our limit. I don't think I want to go any bigger than this for this particular build. Um, I think, I think the next step other than some fine-tuning details like that little corner piece and this stairway here and stuff like that. Um, I think the next step is going to be doing the detailed interior. Uh, making, like, you know, wooden floors and chairs and beds and all that kind of stuff. Tor um, maybe not torches. Probably won't do torches yet. Um, so we'll do all the interior stuff, then we'll kind of cover everything with wooden... Um, ceilings because that's the only real ceiling type that we have at the moment um, for this building style like yes um, it's been mentioned before you can use an archway you could um, but you kind of end up with like you can't do anything in the center you can only do it on the outer edges and with these one by one hallways um, like this if you put these as your ceiling it narrows the hallway because you've got this arch and it's only one way so it's a little it's a little wonky to do it that way um, so wooden floor on top is still appearing to be the best form of ceiling in my opinion um, probably not gonna do an actual roof tile they're they're too large and trying to cover those up would make this hill look really really weird it's already probably gonna look a little derpy as it is um, but so yeah probably gonna do the interior part next with some tweaks to these stairways then cover everything up with uh, wood panels and then we'll actually work on the voxel putting the ground pulling the ground over top of this um, and making it look a little trying to make it look um, you know, genuine and organic. Uh, and then we'll go through and do interior lighting. So we got a little bit more to do, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, so I'm going to wrap things up here. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!